Yo, what's up, guys? But but they got Jones and back uh, again with another episode of the Watch List, where we go over all the new and upcoming sneaker releases of the month. And this time, we're going to the second half of November. And yo, November flew by way faster than any month before. Thanksgiving is next week. Can y'all believe that? Next week is Thanksgiving. November just started five, five days ago. I cannot believe that we're almost done with the month. But you know what is crazy? The remaining releases for the month. So let's get into it. So I recorded this video, number 18, the Cactus Plan Filmmaker SB Dunks are released today in the silver and spiral stage green colorways. And now these are crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I was a bit hesitant at first. When I first looked at the official mentions, being like, okay, the bedazzle will look, and eh, not ready for me. But after some thoughts, the diamonds make the shoe go crazy. But you know what does make the shoe? The 550 price tag, retail. I'm not I'm not dropping 550 for those, no sir. Cause I do not got like that. But if you got like that, if you get a bread for it, then and you can get them, best of luck. Cause I I'm not dropping 550 for bed for bedazzle shoes. Nah. Fuck that. Now November 19 we have a stacked day for the release from Nike, Adidas, and New Balance. But getting Nike first, Nike's giving us the Air Max 1 Magma Orange, as well as the Nike SB Dunk Ceramic. Now the ceramics I talked about in my previous video already. But, you guys will update, I into four raffles for them. Am I hoping I'm gonna hit? Yes. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. I'm not kidding, but it's probably gonna happen, but I can be hopeful, can't I? <laughs> and as for the Magma Oranges, what can I say? That's a simple Air Max 1 colorway all over, well, mostly gray with hints of orange all over them. It's simple and clean. I can't really say much about them, but words of the wise, and like we say here, do not sleep. If you want them, be aware. Because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna sell it instantly. Like, if you want them, be ready, be on time, you, you can secure a pair. Just don't sleep, because I'm pretty sure by 10-10, they're going to be sold out. But you want them, get them. And now for Adidas. Adidas is giving us the Ferrari NMDQ Black White, which for me, these are an easy pass. Give me the book. This is not what I expect from the human race Ferrari uh, shoes, no. What I expect from them are colorful hues, like crazy multicolors, combination of colors. Not a simple all black. Even all, I, I can pass with all white, but an all black uh, colorway of this of this model. That, that's just something I, I don't expect. It's clean, it's simple, but it's not what I'm looking from that collaboration. Now, Adidas is also responsible for these monstrosities right here. The Adidas Miles Morales Spider-Man Superstars. And what the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me dial it back a little bit. These aren't bad looking. Now, my first thing comes from the fact that the character of Miles Morales from the Spider-Man comics has always been depicted as wearing the Air Jordan 1, more to get the Chicago colorway. But, somehow, someway, somehow, I've been told, from what I've been reading about, it seems to be a licensing issue. So, Sony and PlayStation, Sony has the rights to the Air Jordan 1 model for the movies, but for the video games, it's a whole different ballpark. So, I'm, what I'm saying is, like, if they want to use the Jordan model in video games, they have to shell out more cash to Nike. And I'm pretty sure Sony didn't want to do that, so they were like, you know what? Let's put Miles and some Adidas. And, these shits suck! They're ugly! I get it, okay. It's a good excuse not wanting to pay Nike double just to use some video game. But that doesn't mean the fact that that, that still means these are still ugly! <laughs> They're still ugly! I don't like them! Like the fact that you got Miles Morales and a pair of Super Thirds, and don't get me started on the fact that you also had the Pro Era highs and that one picture. That one I fucking hate. When I saw that picture, I lost. I was like, no. Why we got Miles and Pro Eras? Fuck that shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to orange these. They're not as ugly as I'm making them out to be. They're like, it's just black and red. I'm just like, I'm more frustrated the fact that they got Miles Morales and Adidas than Jordan 1s. But, hey, it's a collab, it's a collab, it's clean. And now for some New Balance news, we got the Casablanca and New Balance 327s dropping in a sail green and white black pair. Now, I've been wanting a pair of 327s for a long ass time, I just haven't found the right colorway yet. But I feel like I might end up getting out the sail, uh, sail green joints, because those are the clean ones. The black red, I mean the black white, hmm, alright. It's simple, but the green and sale ones, those are catching my eye more. We get what I expect to see from Adele 
I mean, from Adele, from Adidas and Pharrell and the human races with them dropping in the baby pink and the baby blue pair. Now, the baby pink looks more myself than the blue, but all they were pink, kind of rosy color with the shoe with just a little bit of black on the sock liner. This, this is what I enjoy from the human races, where they just let the color shine. Like, cause the model of the shoe isn't that crazy. The basic model isn't loud or anything like that. It, it, what I like about it is that they let the color shine. As I said for the last seven times. <laughs> then November 21st, we see the release of Air Jordan 3 Court Purple. Only overseas, sadly. I already spoke about these, but on end clothing, at the time of the you have like three more days to go to endclothing.com and to raffle, uh, raffle for these. And hopefully I can still keep them pair because I'll be live if I said they didn't want these low key. On the 23rd, we see the re release of the Concept Nike Dunk Tur Duncan and the Spell Sage Air Max 1. The Dunks got pushed back to November 23rd, but these are going to be the regular box release without any of the accessories that came out with a special edition box that came out like a week ago, I want to say. I forgot already. I already took an out on those stupid splash page. <laughs> and for the Sage pair of Air Max 1s, I honestly like these more than the Orange Magma pair. Like, they're, maybe I'm just more of a fan of green than orange, but I'm, I think I'm going to pick these up more than the other ones. And the very next day, we had to release the Kobe 5 Bruce Lee and the alternate version. And now, say it with me guys, say it with me. Do not sleep and good luck, because these will sell, will sell out immediately. Do what you have to do to secure a pair. Raffles, multiple accounts, whatever. Because these will be gone in a flash. And if you miss them, I know a lot of you'll be sad. Now Nike is also giving us a couple pairs on the 25th as well. Starting with the air with the woman's Air Jordan 6 single day. And I like this these Jordan 6s. A little bit black with black roses stitched or laid onto the uppers. I wanna say I wanna say it's embroidered, but I don't know yet. I gotta get my hand. But these are like a per, uh, perfect pair for the women. And then we got the P's minus one Air Force ones and I'm asleep. I'm sleeping. I don't care about these. I didn't like them from official when they first leaked. I didn't like them with the official color when the official pictures came out. I do not like them. Mainly, well, may, not mainly, like, one of the reasons I don't like is because of the laces. The laces are too fat. And plus, like, just little black marks on the sole. I'm passing. Fuck that. And we also see the third pair of the A the pack. By the Air Max 1 Lemonade. And just like that, the last two just switch up the upper to yellow. And that's what you got. And to keep it book, I never thought these shoes were gonna sell out. I never did. Like, these are like, I don't get them. Like, I'm not saying they're ugly, but I thought these were gonna be clearance shoes. But, yo, American words, I wouldn't be surprised if they got a fourth pair in the tuck with an Arnold Palmer colorway. That would be dope. Because they got Limeade, Strawberry Lemonade, Lemonade. Now, what about Arnold Palmer, Iced Tea with Lemonade? Big brain right there. <laughs> and now to end the video off, we got three more pairs. I'm gonna just breeze through the Fire Red Fours, the 380 Onyx, and the Black Metallic Gold Jordan Ones. Now the now the Fours and the Onyx, six, I spoke already. I want them. They're near. They're necessities in my opinion. And for the Black Metallic Gold Ones, eh, eh, it, it might be a sleeper pickup. I'll see how I'm feeling when I wake up that morning. But as of right now, I'm gonna be just like, I feel like I'm just gonna skip on them. I don't really want them that much. Something about Pan, Leather, and Adrenaline one doesn't do it for me. But yo guys, in the comment section down below, please guys, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on all the shoes dropping. Are there any ones you wanna go for? Any ones you're sleeping on? I'd like to hear it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jose. I do sneaker and anime manga related content. But I'll say, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Share this video with your friends and family, and we hope my channel grow. Links to my socials, to my Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch, all at Bodega Jewels will be linked down in the description. Peace, love, positivity, and as always, I'm Bodega, and I'm out. Peace.